Hi, I'm Oliver from Coconetics and today I got a new shipment from Apple by the friendly UPS guy who was here one day before I uh, thought and that's it. And this is my uh, 13 inch MacBook Air. So let's see, I've got, they, they ship two packages, I don't know why there are two. Uh, probably they always ship separately the... Ah, okay. So I've got I've got the MagSafe to MagSafe 2 converter, which allows me to uh, well, let's have a look right away to see if this is in there. Which basically, um, you know, the uh, ah, okay, let's open this. the the new MacBook Air as well as the Retina Pro now has a different uh, MagSafe a smaller one so that they can save some space and this adapter allows you to reuse it so come in have a look so that's one side the other side is larger and you can see we've got a MagSafe here that goes on top and the smaller one then fits in the MacBook okay and it's really strong <laughs> all right so that's that's for later the other thing that I've got here uh, is um, for the machines that I buy for my company, I uh, always get AppleCare. And since I ordered this at uh, apple.com, it's already enrolled. So this is just some, some paperwork. So essentially they could have gone without this and put this small thing inside the big box. They would have saved on, on all of this, which I'm going to throw away anyway. Okay. Now for the interesting part. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is a premiere. I've never had four cameras participating in... Um, uh, actually, let me... I, I thought about this. I wanted to... Add some better audio. I've never had four cameras trained on myself when I'm unboxing a MacBook Air. So, no, no angle is missing. The battery is Okay. Next to it, come good for Only three cameras. <laughs> three cameras. <laughs> Let's see if I can finish before it's over. Or oh, actually. Um, the, the camera went out, it's already running iOS 6, and apparently <laughs> that caused the reboot. So, that was funny. Ah, wrong password. Okay, let me... Du kannst dann noch einmal das Video starten. Okay. So, the iPhone with Xcode uh, uh, iOS 6 just had a reboot. And now, uh, we are back in business. So, extra slim, Apple logo, MacBook Air, Apple logo, MacBook Air, Apple logo, MacBook Air, that's right. and let's see, I wonder why they put it like this, is it like to, to emphasize extra slim, extra slim, no fat, so here's the, the MacBook, you have a flap, that allows for easy extraction from the package. Let's put that to the side for the time being. Um, we've got European power plug. We've got, aha, uh -huh, that's new, that they have some sort of, um, some sort of uh, thing to contain the cables. And an extra uh, thing that wraps around this. I've never seen these before. Uh, and that's the new mini uh, Mac lock. So you see, this should uh, ah okay, silly me. That that goes onto as I showed you before, uh, original uh, Mac lock. And this is the new one that fits on the MacBook without any adapter. And so this is a 45 watt MagSafe adapter, MagSafe two. Okay. So. Uh, then some designed by Apple, made in was 
design project in California, made in China. So, hello, a good Übersicht, so uh, overview, some stickers, and what's this? Ah, it comes with a Giganet uh, Ethernet adapter, which I thought I had to buy extra. But apparently, uh, uh, well, I did buy it extra, but the thing here is, they include it in the box. So, they didn't have the extra packaging around this and ship it like in a separate uh, box. But if you uh, choose the Ethernet adapter on the uh, website, they will actually include it in the box, which is kind of smart. That's something I've, I haven't seen before, and I like it. You get the impression, oh, this is included, but actually that's, I think, $30 or so extra. All right. So we're done here. Let's have a look at the thing itself. So, we've got the... I'm ripping the important information and license information, so I think I'm agreeing with it, apparently. And so, uh, it, it feels very nice, like the 11-inch the, uh, MacBook Air I had before, which now my wife is able to use, because I'm getting this for several reasons. One being, um, it's got a SD card slot, uh, and uh, this one also got the Thunderbolt port, so if I ever wanted to connect a Thunderbolt display, uh, I could, uh, or I can use uh, SD cards to quickly transfer data between my, my Mac and the MacBook Air. On this side, there's the MacBook 2, a second USB slot, and uh, the uh, headphone jack, and it looks like it's a microphone inlet here as well. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, the bottom, as usual, quite uh, Apple-like, just a little bit of engraving here, but no stickers or anything like you would have on the Windows machine. And so that's that's it. Let's um, get started. And by the way, here you can see this is my regular work setup. It's my 27-inch iMac from uh, mid-2011. So I don't need to use this as my primary, primary work machine. It will be my travel Mac or when I'm at home and want to surf around a little bit. So let's see, um, it should be coming, uh, working out of the box. And then the other side, then a little beschleunigen. That takes, takes a bit of time. But, um, let, let me summarize the advantages that I now have with this machine over my 11-inch Air. First of all, it's two years newer, so there, there was a generation last year that I didn't get, which had the uh, backlit keyboard, which this now has. You can see I can, can uh, reduce the, the brightness or increase the brightness of the uh, light, lightning between, uh, behind the keys. So that's one thing I wanted to have, because if you are sitting in a dark room, you want to, even though you are typing blind, you want to be able to, to know what keys you're pressing. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, it's like two generations after the one I previously had. Uh, this now has a, a larger display. There is not so much of a difference, I think, in, in terms, it's a, it's a little bit more heavier. But the additional space is uh, mostly used by the uh, battery. So instead of three to four hours, I'm getting, or should be getting, around seven hours, which is also almost an entire workday. So uh, if, if you, you go to standby in between, uh, it's probably a very nice machine to travel with. And I know a couple of people uh, who are actually returning their MacBook Pros with Retina for a machine like this, because that's the ideal travel laptop. So, there you have it, MacBook Air, new as of 2012, uh, unboxed.